John Quincy Adams authorized an unprecedented expedition to the depths of the earth in the early 1820s. The goal was to find and trade with a race of people who were said to live inside the planet. Adams initially dismissed the idea as pure fantasy, only coming around when the expedition's organizer persuaded the president of the potential. American Army officer John Cleves Sims Jr., who fought in the War of 1812, strongly supported the theory of a hollow earth. He imagined the earth to be a series of concentric spheres, open at the poles by 12 or 16 degrees and habitable on the inside. Sims traveled and lectured about his theory for many years, captivating audiences everywhere that he went. Jeremiah Reynolds, a newspaper editor who helped spread the word about Sims' idea, accompanied him on this journey. Despite the theory's popularity, Reynolds eventually left the expedition to pursue his own vision of polar exploration. He proposed a trip to the South Pole and the wider South Pacific, and he received backing from marine and scientific societies. He even persuaded the House of Representatives to pass a resolution requesting that President John Quincy Adams dispatch a research vessel to the Pacific. Initially skeptical of Reynolds' theories, Adams eventually agreed to back the expedition. He regarded Reynolds as a man of genius and science. And while he did not fully support the hollow earth theory, he recognized Reynolds' passion for exploration. President Adams' November 4, 1826 diary entry demonstrates his support for Reynolds' journey. Quote, Mr. Reynolds is a man who's been lecturing around the country in support of Captain John Cleve Sims' theory that the earth is a hollow sphere, open at the poles. His lectures are said to have been well attended and much approved as displays of genius and science. However, the theory itself has been so much ridiculed and is, in fact, so visionary that Reynolds has now changed his purpose on the proposition of fitting out a voyage of circumnavigation to the Southern Ocean. That day will come, but it will not be in my lifetime. May it be my fortune and honor to accelerate its approach. End quote. Unfortunately, the expedition was canceled by newly elected President Andrew Jackson, forcing Reynolds to find alternative funding for his trip. Despite the setback, Adams continued to support natural world exploration, including establishing the Naval Observatory in Washington, D.C., and establishing the Smithsonian Institution. Even though going to the center of the Earth may have been a pipe dream, Adams' support for exploration and dedication to learning more about the natural world has left a lasting mark. These are Interesting Things with J.C.